Hello geeks, how are you? This is your iGeek speaking. Now, I'm very excited to show you two tweaks only today. But both of them are related to your hardware on your iPhone. One is upcoming and will be released in few days and the other one has just been dropped on Cydia. So let's begin. The first one is called BT Manager Plus, Bluetooth Manager Plus. Now, you know how sometimes frustrating it can get when you have a lousy Bluetooth device name and you cannot change it. Even if you change device name with some other tweaks, like I did once, and once you uninstall the tweak, the, the new name stays, you cannot go back to the first one. Uh, also, what about when your Bluetooth device gets connected and you did not want it to happen? You know, when you switch from the device to the device? Now, this would be cool to see and to get notified about which device is connecting to which, which Bluetooth device is connected to which, you know, I device. And finally, what if I told you that you could now choose the default Bluetooth device for each application you have installed? Well, wait no more. Uh, this tweak does it, does it all. So the tweak is B BT Manager Plus and it's currently beta and it will be released soon by the developer Beckett, Beckett O'Brien from Reddit. This is his Reddit name. And I really want to thank the guy for letting me get a sneak peek into this tweak. So the tweak is extremely straightforward and easy to use. There are three main sections in the tweak settings. As you can see, I hope you, you understand what I'm talking about. So the first one is to enable it. The second one is configuration of devices. And the third one is configuration of applications. Of course, you need to enable it first to, to, to make it work. Very important thing when you enable it or disable it, there is no respring needed, which I really prefer about the tweaks nowadays. Now, once you enable the tweaks, you go to the next section and most important to me personally, this is called devices. So here you will see all your uh, devices that you have been connected to in recent you know, times. Now, you will see all of them and you can go into one and the other separately and you can change the device name and the settings. Okay, so if I want to change device name, as you can see, I go into it, I change the settings. I can also confirm before the switching. Now, this is very important. This means that anytime the, you changed um, the audio route, for example, is changed to this, de this device, you will get notified. So when it's connected to my car, as you can see, I'm driving Mitsubishi. When you connect it to my car, it's going to prompt me that my iPhone has been connected to a Mitsubishi Bluetooth device, right? You, of course, you need to click this restart button. Now, what I want to mention here, what is important, once you change the name, uh, you need to press the return button in order for it to take effect. All right, if you just change the name and you go back, nothing will be uh, done. But when I change the name, I press return, I save, right? Then it's gonna accept my, my change. Anyway, I wanna use just Mitsubishi. I don't have two Mitsubishis, save. So you need to press return and press save. Now, again, this confirm before switching, I just want to stress on it, means that you will be prompt once the Bluetooth device connects to your iPhone or iPad where you have this tweak installed. So this is what it does. And it's pretty, pretty good. Make sure to restart your Bluetooth once you, once you uh, make any of these changes. Now, the second section is applications. Again, very cool option. This is also very useful because it allows you to preset which Bluetooth device you want to connect for which app. For example, you might want to have your AirPods connected when Spotify is started. Pretty neat, right? So I wish Apple would implement these settings, to be honest. And I'm sure they will once they find out about this tweak and when it gets, when it gets popular. So you can go into each tweak and you can select which of these Bluetooth devices you want it connected once you start the app. So I want my JBL uh, Charge 4 recently purchased speaker, which I made unboxing video about, but nobody's watching. Anyway, so I want this 
speaker to be connected as my Bluetooth device when I start the CNN application. Pretty cool, right? So this tweak will be released in near future, I believe August the 8th, and I hope you will like it as much as I do. Now, big shout out once again to the developer who was super nice and who gave me this tweak to play with it before its official release. Now, I, I, I get a lot of questions on my channel about spotting which tweak might be responsible for excessive ba battery drainage. Uh, well, and I always tell people, you know, check it out which tweak you installed the most recently and uh, try uninstalling it, then monitor how the battery behaves, blah, blah, blah. But it takes time. There is a tweak that will monitor this for you and identify the guilty tweak. It's called the drain and it's when you install it, it has the separate, separate icon on your home screen. It's called Drain and it just has been released one hour ago on Dynastic Repo. Now the price is $2.00. But the developers say that after a while it might be free. I'm not sure I understand this. Anyway, I don't think, uh, I think $2 are pretty good price for such a great tweak. Now you have, when you start the, when you start the tweak, when you start the app or whatever, you have four major sections here. Um, you have discharge, which means the amount of milliampers that has been drained from your uh, battery. You have cycles, how many times you have charged your phone until this moment. You have time left before your phone dies. So I have like 28 hours. Wow, this is, this is cool. And I have health, which is great. Wow, my health is great. Anyway, so uh, what you want to see Basically, what is the main the main uh, part of the tweak is this one number two statistics. This uh, this seg this is segment where the drain tweak will identify the tweak that has been draining your battery. However, it needs some time before it shows you the data. Once the culprit is identified, you may want to uninstall it. But for me, as you can see, I've just installed it, so there is not much uh, not enough time passed. Uh, since I installed it so that you can get the averages and see which one which one is draining your battery But once it is there you will see those in red select uh, highlighted in red Which are the main guilty parties then you have the orange one yellow ones which uh, drain your battery, but to a lesser extent Okay, and the final part of the tweak is this settings settings tab now here you can select average time which is basically the length of the gap between averages being recorded on the, on the device. So, you know, uh, less the minimum is two hours. So in every two hours, it will monitor the average and it will give you the data. Uh, again, this tweak will run in the background. So will the drain tweak drain the battery? Now, anyway, the second part is sensitivity. Now, this... Uh, this part shows how sensitive the tweak will be to changes in battery drain. When you increase this, the tweak will record more tweaks guilty uh, that are guilty. So, so be careful how you do it. By default, it's 125%. When you change these uh, settings, of course, you need to respring to take effect. Additionally, you have uh, more options like turning on the OLED mode then you can export your statistics for later analysis and I don't know what you want to do. And then you have the app icon so you can change the way your original icon looks like. I mean, this is this is completely up to you. I prefer the original one. And here is the, you know, apply changes. Thing. Now, what I suggest you reading, guys, is the privacy policy and you you will see that if you decline the privacy policy in the beginning, the, the, uh, you will not be able to uh, use the tweak like with its full potential. However, to make things easier, and nobody reads this, right? But the, what is the main point? The developer state that they will collect the data anonymously, right? And that the data will not be shared with the third parties. However, now this is the important part. However, changes the meaning of every, everything. Now, However, the data is shared over internet. So they say there is no 100% safe way to do that. So, you know, you use it at your own, at your own risk. So as you can see, 
Uh, but remember that no method of transmission over the internet or method of electronic storage is 100% secure and reliable. And we cannot guarantee its absolute security, right? So I'm accepting it. I, I trust the developers. These developers are really famous in my book and uh, I, I have no issues in, in, in accepting these privacy policy. But I'm just saying, make sure that you are warned officially. So see uh, how to go. Now, the main question at the end arises, can the tweak monitor other tweaks? Is it like bureaucracy time now in jailbreak community? So we have the control controller of the tweaks, then later on, uh, who will monitor the drain tweak if it drains the battery? Ah, that's food for thought. Now this is it. Thanks for watching and stay true to your geek nature. See ya. Thank you.